Well, let's get to the fun part, shall we? Yes, we are all ready for the tournament. And so the tournament began. Things started out uneventful with Krillin easily defeating Pintar. But when Piccolo stepped out into the ring with a mysterious Mr. Shin, things began, began to get interesting. This is the first year Shin has participated in the tournament. He's a man of few words, so we know very little about him. And that could spell that could spell trouble for our competitor, my junior. Someone who, if I remember correctly, came close to turning this arena into rubble the last time he was here. This time tried to leave the stadium intact, okay? <laughs> this could be interesting, don't you think, Piccolo? How does he know my name? And what is this strange energy I'm feeling? Alright, fighter, let the second match begin. Why can't I focus my power? Hey guys, uh, the match started. The match has started. You can throw punches now. <laughs> Why am I holding back like this? I've never even met him before today. And yet there's something about him that reminds me. Well, martial arts fans, it looks like we have a we have here is a good old fashioned standoff. No, it can't be. You're not. Why would he be here? I promise you'll know soon. But for now, let's enjoy our little match. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Does that mean you're forfeiting the match? Yes, it does. You heard it, folks. Majunior has withdrawn from the match. This makes Shin the winner by default. What's wrong, Piccolo? Is he really that strong? Yes, stronger than you can imagine. Uh... Oh, great. I'm going to have to fight this guy next. Excuse me. What is it? Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but I have to ask you. Are you the Grand Kai? No, sorry, I'm, I am not. I'll tell you who he is. The Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai? I've always expect... I've always suspected that there was even a greater Kai above the Grand Kai. But until now, I never knew for sure. What are you doing on Earth? That will, that will all become clear. For now, please keep your information. Please keep this information to yourself. He's so huge. Well, he was huge in the anime. All right, I'm sure the most of you know Videl is the daughter of our champion, Hercule. As for a rival today, Spopovich is here to redeem himself for a loss he suffered in the first round of the last tournament. Let the match begin. I am now playing as Videl. I'm gonna punch him in his crotch. What the? Videl has clearly beaten her opponent, but I'm afraid she's disqualified for using excessive force. Those are the rules. So, this was the part where she kicked him so hard in the face that it twisted his head backwards. But then... Uh, in a not so great manner, <laughs> Spopovich just grabs his head and twists his back to normal. It wasn't really a pretty sight either. <laughs> I mean, he didn't like take it off, but it was not. It was disturbing. I don't know how to explain this, but Spopo Spopovich somehow survived. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. I think this is a forced uh, lost. I don't understand it. You were never this strong before. I'll never give up. Ha ha ha. Okay. No, 
No, Vidal, stay down. There's no way you can beat this guy. No, I have to keep fighting with this smile on her face. And yeah, it turned into a brutal fight. Ugh, this is too much. I can't stand and watch. Sobovich, stop playing games. In this now. Oh, all right. Mavadale! How could... How could this happen? Poor girl. Sugar beet. What did they do to you? Vidal, my little girl. She is okay, sir. But she's going to need some time to heal. Go on, that guy. Spopovich, I want you to beat him for me. Sure thing, Vidal. Say, I, I have an idea. I'll be right back. What are you talking about, Vidal? There's no way this kid could beat Spopovich. Don't worry, Daddy will take care of him for you. Wait a sec. That kid isn't your boyfriend, is he? I won't allow it, do you hear me? I, will, I do not approve of this. You know I've always said that if you have a boyfriend, then he must be strong like me. Not a feeble like... Not, not feeble like that twerp. How can he protect my little girl? Dad, he's a really nice guy. Girl, one thing I just don't understand is how could Spopovich have gotten so strong? When I fought him in the last tournament, world tournament, he was a cream puff. Hey, come, hey, Gohan, where are you going? I was going to see Corin to get a sensor bean for the Fidel. Why don't you stay here? I'll take care of it. Thanks, Dad. I am playing as Goku. Oh. Now I can do the teleportating thing. Teleportating thing. I can now fly down. Fly down to Korra. It's probably going to be like, I need you to go get fishes for me. I was wondering if that was a thing. Whee! Hey, at least core at least the lookout is not huge like in the Legacy of Goku 2. Hello Goku. What's going on? I would appreciate it if you would bring me some fish. Yajirobe keeps the fridge stocked with pizza and fried chicken, but I'm hungry for fish. Hey Goku, oh man, you want sensor beans? You know I'm a, I know you know I have better things to do than grow sensor beans for you all day. Here, take one. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Next time I think I'm Next time, I think I'll start charging. Yes. Thanks, here it is. I have fishes. Do I not have? Did out. Oh, I guess I only caught the one. Well, I got a sense of being. You know, the magical beam that res that heals all injuries and injuries and restores your stamina. Yeah. I saw you. Ooh, there's a big guy. And big guy's down. I I do like that they added the random roaming enemies and stuff. So it's, it's a nice little touch.
Let's go fishing. <laughs> Is it going to be a small fish again? Or nothing? Alright, fine. Screw you. Go on, oh. Go on. I have your I have your bean. Uh, did you get the sense of bean? Great. Thanks, Dad. I'll take care of I'll take care of, I'll take it from here. Hey Videl, I have something for you. Hey you, leave Videl alone. She needs her rest. You got some nerve. Here, take this. It's a sensu bean. It'll make you feel better. You think you can impress my daughter with some kind of bean? Trust me, sir. It'll make her feel as good as new. There's no way I trust you. Please, Daddy. I trust you, Gohan, and I know it will help if you say it will. Oh, I did a little heart emo thingy. Listen, I have to run or I'll be late for my tournament match. See you later. Yeah, you better run. You better stay away from my daughter. Fidel, no, spit it out. Amazing, I'm all better now. It's like I wasn't hurt. It was like I was never hurt. Even, never even hurt. Here we go with the fourth match of this competition. Kabito versus the great Saiyan Man. Is it me or does the great Saiyan Man look like Gohan? Well, the, hair, the hairdo looks similar. Hey, I think you're right. That is Gohan. So he's the great Saiyan Man all along. We should cheer for him. He needs our support. You can do it, Gohan! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, Gohan. Show us what you got. Go, go, Gohan! <laughs> oh no, my helmet. In all the excitement, I forgot it. To be fair, he was also wearing sunglasses, but yeah. Gohan, I am curious to see your Super Saiyan powers. Show them to me. We may, we may be able to use them. What? Hey, how do you know? How do you know I'm a Super Saiyan? And what do you mean we may be able to use them? You'll know in time. Show me your Super Saiyan powers now. Is that some kind of joke? I can't transform in front of all these people. What should I do? Do what he says, Gohan. I don't remember if Piccolo ever shouted that. I think Gohan's like, all right, I'll just, all right. But do you want to, do you want to see this, or should I take it to the next level? And then, yeah. All right, then you ask for it. Yes. Oh, that's. He asked this before transforming. Did you just want to see a Super Saiyan, or should I take it up to the next level? What? There's a level beyond Super Saiyan? Oh. Ah! Hey, look, Yamu. All that energy, it must be him. It can't be! Gohan's the Great Saiyan and the Gold Fighter? Impossible! This is unreal! What enormous energy! He's far stronger than I expected! Are you ready now? What's the matter? Come on and fight me! Oh. I'm apparently going to fight Spopovich and Yamu, even though this didn't happen at all. Uh oh. Again, that didn't happen. That, however, did happen. But that was because of... The Supreme Kai, um... I do not... Alright, so... It was going to be Kabito and Gohan, but... And Kabito wanted him to 
show off the Super Saiyan strength. And Gohan transforms, and Supreme Kai is like, everything will be alright. And then Supreme Kai holds Gohan in place with magic powers, and then Popo and Yamu grabbed him and started draining his energy. I don't remember Gohan being like, no, they're killing him. Trust me, he'll be fine. Stay back. Someone has to help him. He's in trouble. Gohan is in no danger. Hang on. Kabito's on the... Psst. It's in the arena. Hang in there, Gohan. It's almost over. We have all the pure energy we need. Let's go. All of you stay where you are. Kabito will take care of Gohan now. He has no need of your assistance. At least tell us what's going on. There's no time for that. I have to follow them and find out where they're taking Gohan's energy. Then I'm going with you. Very well. I could use your help. I know I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to. I know what you're doing. You're trying to sneak out of our match, aren't you, Kakarot? In case you haven't noticed, Vegeta, something more important is going on. You listen to me. We've, we're scheduled to fight after the next two matches. I only entered this stupid tournament to fight you. I will not be denied. Take it easy, Vegeta. Fine, I'll put, you, I'll put it on my to-do list. Urgh. You forget that you can only stay one day on, on this world. I have to fight you today, or I might not ever get a chance. I'm coming with you to make sure you don't try to pull any of your tricks. And off they go. Where is everyone going? Quiet, you must stay still. There. That should do it, Gohan. Great, I feel way better now. Hey, what's going on here? Follow me, I'll tell you everything. Gohan, before I before you go, I need to know something. What is it, Vader? Seven years ago, there was a, there was a strange group of fighters that showed up during this fight with Cell, and there was a little boy who was with them. That was you and your friends, wasn't it? Yes. Then it wasn't my father who beat Cell. It was you. Yes, it was. I knew it. It always seemed like there was something fishy about my father's story. Now it all makes sense. I'm glad I know the truth. Thank you, Gohan. Now go and be a hero. Ah, oh, she did a little cute and heart emoji thing too. We need to use Popovich and Yamu to find the wizard who is controlling them. A wizard? Yes, when the human race was still in its infancy on Earth, a powerful wizard named Bibbidi appeared. What he... With him, excuse me, with him he brought a terrible monster whose only purpose was destruction. That monster name was Majin Buu. This monster's only desire was to eliminate all living things. Hundreds of planets were reduced to rubble by him. Entire galaxies were wiped from existence. That sounds awful. So what happened to him? After a while, Majin Buu became so powerful that even Bibbidi could not control him. Bibbidi used a spell to seal Maj Majin Buu inside a ball where he lay dormant. Bibbidi used the spell to transform Buu from planet to transport Buu from planet to planet until the ball was brought here to Earth. The Earth was meant to be Buu's next target. No, that's terrible. But before Buu was could be released, Bibbidi was killed, and that ball containing Buu has remained here on Earth to this very day. I don't get it. Why couldn't someone destroy Boo while he's inside the ball? That's a good question. As long as Bibbidi could as long as Bibbidi could never do the spell to release Boo from the ball, Boo was no longer a threat. However, Bibbidi had a son. His name his he named his son Bobbidi. Bibbidi is Bobbidi is on Earth right now as we speak. He intends to how old are is he? He intends to continue his father's work and unleash Majin Buu upon the universe once again. I see. So what do Spopovich and Yamu have to do with all this? 
Bobbity is not very physically strong, but he is a but as a wizard, as a wizard, he does not need to be. Instead, his magic en enables him to harness the evil that exists in the hearts of people that like Gamu and Spop Spopovich, and therefore control their actions. In order to resurrect Majin Buu, Bobbity requires a tremendous amount of pure energy. So they came after me. That's right. The Supreme Kai, the one you know as Mr. Shen, was the one who defeated Bibbidi so many ages ago. We have to come here to stop we we have we have come here to Earth to stop him. I see your father and others are up. I see your father and the others up ahead. Let's catch up to them. Hey Dad. Go on. I suppose Capito has filled you in? Yep. It sounds like we have our work cut out for us. I see Spopovich and Yamu landing over there. Everyone try to suppress your energy. We don't want them to know we're here yet. Bobbity. Bibbity bobbity boo! Spopovich and Yamu landed somewhere around here. This is very strange. We have searched this area before, but and found nothing. Bobbity's ship, spaceship, must be hidden somewhere around here. We should split up. That way we can cover more ground. Wasn't like this, but let's keep going. Fine, Bobbity spaceship. Did they just... <laughs> they disappeared into the circle. Anyways, yeah. I talked a lot. Uh, there was a lot of story happening. Oh, uh, Vegeta's already 75. But yeah. There was a lot of story that was just told. Did we do any... F okay, we did the Videl fight and go on, fought off Spopovich and Yamu, even though that never happened. Okay, so there was a lot of talking in this episode. Nothing really happened yet, but like I said, this is getting to... This is where it's going to build up. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I will see you in the next grind.